Blogging is no doubt a rapidly growing form of media. From fashion and beauty to food and travel, bloggers share their thoughts, pictures, reviews and more on their social media platforms, some gaining millions of followers. And here in Dubai, it is no different. With loads of Instagrammable spots and views, it has quickly become a breeding ground for bloggers. Lena Hasaballah has this story. In today's world, celebrities aren't just movie stars and pop singers anymore. Social media has opened up the door for people to become famous, and a lot of these people do that through blogging. It's safe to say that most of us probably follow a few bloggers and social media influencers ourselves, whether it be on Instagram, Facebook or YouTube. But how exactly do they do it? How do they gain all of this popularity and followers? Meet Millie Midwood, a UAE-based fashion and lifestyle blogger who only started three years ago, but already has over 11,000 Instagram followers. I started my blog about three years ago. Um, I was coming to the end of my studies at university and where I was studying fine art. And I knew I wanted to do something under the fashion umbrella, but I didn't really know what. So I kind of thought, okay, let's start a blog. It'll be a kind of creative outlet somewhere to just sort of jot all my thoughts down and, you know, outfits that I like or whatever. Um, I was quite naive when I joined the blogging scene. I had no idea that it could become a job. I, you know, I didn't really know what could come from it. I kind of think that's the case with blogging in every country. It's kind of a global phenomenon in that case. Um, I think blogging kind of connects your readers and your followers to the city from anywhere in the world. I started my blog at university when I was in the UK and now I've moved here. So everyone that I've met in the UK can see what I'm doing here and when they come on holiday you know they can have a look at what kind of restaurants I've been loving recently or what kind of bars they should go to. Millie shares great looking pictures of Dubai on her social media which she says definitely attracts her viewers to want to come to the city. Dubai is one of the most Instagrammable places ever. You put a picture of the Burj Al Arab up and it, people go wild for it. Um, I, there's yeah they have so many different world records you know the tallest building, the fountains, everything like that that you can just take pictures anywhere you go and they always look amazing. But blogging isn't only for the young cool kids in town. Sally Prosser is a blogging veteran starting her food and travel blog My Custard Pie about seven years ago. Her blog has evolved a lot since then and she says that the blogging world has definitely changed over the years, especially in Dubai. I started blogging um, because one door had closed and I had lots of time on my hands and I started a golf for good challenge and that was my way of documenting what I was doing and raising the funds around it. And I absolutely loved doing it. Started reading food blogs, had always been obsessed with food and travel. So on a whim, started my own food blog as well. And my custard pie seven years later still exists. Blogging has changed worldwide. Um, there's been an explosion of blogs, um, partly because people see there are rewards partly because I think the personal brand is a huge thing now um, and um, the technology is so simple to use now. Um, it has changed. It used to be a small community and now it's very disparate. About 77% of internet users read blogs and while bloggers on social media seem to lead pretty glamorous lives, Millie and Sally say that it requires a lot of work. I tend to get up very early in the morning, walk my dog and get a lot of the stuff down, uh, the thoughts in my head, then um, I'm not a quick blogger. It takes me hours to write a blog post over many days or even weeks. Um, there's the editing, there's putting the links in, well, after you've generated the content. Um, and I will sit on the sofa with my laptop watching telly and then doing all the last things, all going through my Instagram. Um, I'm we wedded to my phone at all times of the day. So yes, it runs alongside everything else I'm doing. I think the one thing I would tell people about blogging is that it's harder than it looks. People just kind of see, especially on social media, that you get sent these free handbags and you get given these free meals at restaurants, but actually there's a lot of work that goes into it. You know, you spend a lot of time um, learning how to work your camera. You spend a lot of money buying a really good camera. A lot of the time you're absolutely exhausted because you want to commit to all these different events and you know you have to build relationships with these brands and these PRs to 
to grow your blog and your following. So it's not just a walk in the park that involves loads of freebies. Whether it's snapping a picture of their outfit of the day, reviewing a restaurant, or documenting their latest holiday, bloggers have made their mark in the digital world. And it has definitely created a new twist on marketing, from products to services to entire cities like Dubai. Lina Hasaballah, UAE Weekly. Thank <laughs> you.